If you have been consuming fitness content for more than three months, you've seen a thousand videos of weird stuff happening like this one. You also know three things. Number one is that if you can bench 225, AKA two plays, AKA 100 kg, makes you an elite power human being. Not a lot of people can do that. So if you can do 225, kudos to you. Now, if you're a woman doing that, extra kudos to you because that's actually impressive. A lot of people might be afraid of you and by a lot of people, I mean the kids that cannot do that. And they will make fun of you in the comments if you post them online, so be prepared of that. Number two is that if you are into CrossFit, please reconsider that because a lot of people will probably make fun of you. Not probably, that's a thing. In the fitness industry, a lot of people make fun of the CrossFitters for whatever reason. Actually, I know the reason. The reason is because you guys do interesting pull-ups like that. And the number three thing is that deadlifts can actually give you status. I will increase your Chris score. Everyone will love you if you can deadlift. But I'm talking about the conventional way, not the shitting way, of course. Now, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to incorporate your deadlifts in your back day, which actually it's a little controversial now. A lot of people include deadlifts in the, in the back days, they actually include them in the leg days. But me personally, I do them on my back days and I consider them a back workout because of the spinal erector function and I love them. Now, the things that you gotta understand with deadlifts is that if you don't have a correct form, you will be having a bad time. You need to start very, very low weight, let's say just the bar, for uh, maybe two or three sessions. Don't add any way until you perform the best deadlift form ever. Now, number one thing is that you have to do this at the beginning of your workout. The deadlift is a very heavy loaded movement. Trying to get better at deadlift, you need to start with that at the beginning of your workout. And that goes to any other lift that you want to get better at. If you want to get better at bench on chest day, you have to start with your bench. Don't go with any accessory movements. Don't go with anything that uh, moves you away from putting all your energy towards the lift that you want to perform on that day. That being said, if you are trying to do a deadlift, you need to do them warmed up. So you got to warm up first, have at least two sets of warm ups, one without any weight, just a bar, so you can see that your form is on point and you prevent any injuries that might happen if you, do, if you don't do it right. So once you're done with your deadlifts, you can move to a roll movement or a pull-up movement. I usually do the pull-ups, six to eight reps. If I feel a little bit strong after my deadlift, I go with weighted pull-ups so I can feel more of the muscle being worked out on that day. But if you feel like you cannot do anything more with your core, because again, pull-ups require a lot of core movement, you can just do with your regular lap pull-downs. Two to three sets, eight to 10 reps, nothing crazy. Then you move towards your row movements. Again, you're gonna do anything between six to eight reps, uh, wearing a little bit of hypertrophy mixed with strength day on rows. So again, I'm not training for anything in particular. This is more for like an amateur type of lifting people, like hardworking people. I'm in my thirties, I cannot do a lot. You know, I don't have a lot of uh, joint health that I used to have in my twenties, but this is what keeps me going. And I've been lifting for three and a half years doing this method and making sure that my body is uh, getting enough rest in between sessions. Also, going to failure is good, but only at the end of the workout. So by now we already did deadlifts, pull-ups, and rows. I follow up that with some other variation of the lap pull-downs or lap pull-overs. And then once I'm at that point, that's where I'm gonna start doing more of the going to failure portion. I'm going to failure there, I'm actually getting to work out my muscles, because I know I'm not gonna be working them out until let's say three, four, five days after. And that will be enough rest in between sessions, that particular body part that I'm working on that day. And of course you finish with the biceps so you can have a very complete pull day. And at the end of the day, you'll have a very good palm. I promise you that I've been doing this for over two years, doing the same movement, the same workouts, all natural, of course we do here and I've been able to get some gains uh, I noticed myself uh, I feel a little bit different since the very first time I started doing this uh, program that I created for myself now let me know in the comments if you do anything similar to this thank you for three almost 300 subscribers so far sure to hit the like button subscribe 
all of the above. That's all I have for today. Stay natural. See ya.